Hello and welcome to part 2 of my video series where I will consider the alternative for Binance trading platform because Binance is leaving the Dutch market. In this part I will do more techy stuff and will demonstrate how you can use the CCXT library to find out which exchange is suitable for your trading bot. CCXT stands for Cryptocurrency Exchange Trading Library and it's a popular open source library that provides a unified API to interact with various cryptocurrency exchanges. It allows developers to access market data, trade execution and account management functionalities across multiple exchanges through a single interface. It supports a wide range of cryptocurrency exchanges including the popular platforms like Binance, Coinbase Pro, Kraken, Bitfinex and many others. It provides a consistent programming interface in multiple programming languages like Python, PHP and more. So, as you can see, CCXT is widely used by developers in the cryptocurrency ecosystem. Now, let me jump in to see which Dutch crypto exchanges are supported in the CCXT library next. To get started, first you have to install the library using pip. So, let's first install the CCXT library and I do this with this notebook here. What I can do is install the C60 library on the system with the exclamation mark in front of the command. And you can see here that the requirement already is satisfied because I already installed C60 earlier. Now once installed you can import the C60 module in your Python script and create an instance of the exchange you want to interact with. And then you can use the methods provided by C60 to access exchange specific functionalities. Now it also provides a C60 exchanges list that contains the names of all the supported exchanges. And you can iterate over this to get an overview of the available exchanges. So first I have to import C60 to use its functionalities. And then I can do a C60 exchange like this, supported exchanges is and for each name in the supported exchanges, I will print the exchange name. And you can see there's a long list of exchanges on alphabetical uh, order. Now besides this generic list, the CCXT developers also have a website that shows us the supported exchanges per country at the following web address. And the following exchanges have a Dutch DNB approval and are supported by CCXT. Bitfavo, Bleb I think it's called, Coinbase, Bitstamp and OKCoin. Now to gather detailed information about the specific exchanges, such as the website, supported markets, and trading fees and more, you can use the CC exchanges dictionary. And I already prepared a script for that, so let me just copy and paste it in the notebook. And you can see here that the Bitfavo has uh, a lot of points here, pairs I mean, and multiple time frames. Now Blab only has BTC Europe. And Coinbase, Bitstamp and OKCoin for some reason can only show the time frames on which you can trade on, but the trading pairs give errors, so that's not a good start. But until now Bitfavo seems to have the best cards, so let's investigate this exchange further and look at more specific information from this exchange. So here I will load markets with this snippet. And here the Bitfavo exchange gives JSON format back with all the pairs, uh, quotes, IDs, uh, markets, as I can see over here. Well, all kinds of information. Let's dive a little bit deeper. Let me first make a nice overview of the markets from this exchange by doing this. And as you can see, there's no USDT quote pair, only euros and BTC. And this should be taken into consideration because in my experience, it is that if you keep your euros too long on the exchange, Bitfavo will be sending your euros back to your bank account since they are not a bank. Maybe this has been changed because I was experienced this a long time ago. Uh, but it could also be effective. So I don't know at which point. So let's show only the euro pairs with this snippet. 
and you can see here that the market ends with euros and now let's print it in the notebook again and of course i can do the same with btc just changed it to btc here and now i'm curious to see if i can look at the order book of a certain symbol so let's get all the symbols and show them uh, for the order book on btc euro pair i can do it with this snippet and again bitfavo gives json output uh, but uh, yeah this looks like an order book to me let's make this a little bit nicer and of course i prepared this as well i have this script over here which shows the order book in a more human friendly way and at the moment there's a pretty high spread on this market uh, on binance this is much smaller let's see if i can try to see this on binance as well just change the exchange to binance here and now with usdt echo well, it seems that the spread for the usdt is uh, pretty small and that's because the market is yeah has more participants so these uh, buy and sell prices are closer to each other maybe i've made a mistake in bitfavo so i can do this and uh, yeah there's not much changed so yeah but you see here this is a live example and uh, again high volumes offer more liquidity and smaller spreads but uh, i cannot complain at least i can trade there's something else that's called ticker i can also fetch that one so yeah it's also json output and uh, yeah again a large spread okay, let's see if there are any trades on this pair i can do this by the fetch trade method and also there's json output here so i have to make it a little bit more clean by making use of a script that i've prepared as well so let me import json and and now format it into a nicer json output so that i can see a little bit more clear how it looks and here you can see the output in json format so these are all the trades that were happening uh, a few minutes ago and yeah and you can see the day time sometimes they have a larger time in between so you can see that there are no much trades going on it just takes too long to uh, match a buyer and a seller at this point maybe if the market is a little bit more exciting then the spread will be a little bit more yeah close to each other and also there are more trades now i'm a pretty visual guy so let's make things a little bit more visual and I'm going to get the trades data again but import it into a data frame and then we'll create some plots to see a couple of things like the trade price over time, the distribution of trade prices. Uh, I can also make a box plot of the trade prices and the trade price in amount of BTC traded at time. And I can now create a plot of the price over time but I will only show the last 100 I guess I can also show them all so you can see a little bit more of a graph over time and I can also I've also prepared a plot for the distribution of trade prices as an alternative view of the order book and here at the highest column you can see the price and the amount of trades that are happening on that price or price range i guess and i can also show this order book uh, with a box plot now the last plot i'm going to show is a scatter plot in which i show you the price and the amount of bitcoins traded at that price and you can see actually here that there are a lot of uh, small amounts of Bitcoin at each price traded. But sometimes uh, you can see that there are some high points. And those are yeah, higher amounts of Bitcoin that are traded at that price. It's simple. Now, unfortunately, I was not able to get the trading fees from the uh, exchange with the CCXC library. But I hope you get a rough idea on how you can use the library to test out your new crypto exchange if you have to move off of Binance. And also I have mainly tested the Bitfavo exchange here, but I'm not affiliated or sponsored or whatever by that exchange. 
please do also take into consideration the information I gave in my other video on choosing a new trading exchange. This is just a fun tech part, but in the other video I explain more important things you have to think about too. Now I will also test the other allowed exchanges that I have mentioned earlier, but these results will be added and discussed on my Patreon site for those who are interested. So if you are curious on that information, then please become my patron and support me. You will also get additional information and benefits over there as well. For now I hope you have learned something from this video and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.